Don't. Big bank tight, low buy, buy. Big new sight. The type of money you gon' need to buy. From the hood, this type of money make you stay away. What's up, angels? Welcome back on another video. Sorry if you hear my daughter. My daughter is back there playing with her toys and stuff like that. So if it's hard for them to hear me, or if you can't really hear me, um, that's why I apologize. But I can't. I don't have anyone to watch her. But for today's video, I'm gonna be making a beginner's kit, like a beginner's makeup kit for obviously beginners. Um, this isn't me doing any makeup or anything like that. This is gonna be me showing you guys makeup for beginners, and I have a lot, so. I'm going to show you guys pretty much a full face of makeup worth of makeup of makeup that you need for beginner's makeup. I don't know how to explain it, but it's all going to be drugstore makeup. Um, I don't buy high-end makeup. The only high-end makeup that I probably buy is like eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that. Only because I feel like drugstore makeup works the exact same as high-end makeup. So why spend... $50 worth of foundation where I can spend 20 bucks worth of foundation. I say 30 bucks and I'm pretty much I'm just showing you guys my makeup and it's beginner's makeup and it'll hopefully it'll help you guys when you guys look for makeup yourself on what to buy and what I recommend because I do recommend yeah. some stuff, you know? So let's just get on to this video. So for the first thing you obviously need is primer and moisturizer. So the moisturizer that I have, um I honestly think I lost it because sorry, I keep playing with my hair. I always do that. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I thought I did for the longest time. Anisia, this is makeup. I'm not playing with anything. You can't eat this. So a moisturizer that I recommend, and I know it's really dirty, but it's the e.l.f. Daily Hydrating Moisturizer. And it's only like three bucks at Target. So I fixed my setup a little bit. And if you hear my mom, it's because I had her watch Anisia for me. So I can make this video because she wanted to be all over me. She's so attached but that's not the whole point of this video if you guys oh if you guys are new to my channel yes i have a daughter she is nine months and you guys should subscribe to see my journey on youtube because yeah you know why not fuck it who cares <laughs> so so this is the moisturizer i use i know i already told you guys but this is what i recommend um it's really helpful it's really like good on my skin maybe it's just my skin my skin's a mixture of oily and dry so if you're a mixture of oily and dry all this makeup will work out for you i promise because it works for me well, I mean, I don't promise because what if it doesn't work, but, like, it works for me, so I recommend it for you guys. Hopefully, it works for you guys. So, the primers that I do recommend are these two e.l.f. primers. Um, I usually, I, if you're stuck between buying these two, I recommend the hydrating primer. The hydrating primer works really good, but I ran out of this one, and then when I went, when I went to the store, they didn't have this one, so I got this one, and this one works perfectly fine, too. It's the blemish control face primer, so... If you guys want to look for primers and you guys need primers that are cheap, these two primers work perfectly good. Mostly this one, the hydrating one, really good. They're really cheap. I'm not sure how much they are, but they're like four bucks. Really good primers. Really recommend. So, after primer is foundation. Let's see the foundation I have. So, I use two foundations. Um, well, before I used, started using this one, I used this one before, and it's the L'Oreal Paris 24 hour foundation and I really like this foundation it looks it works really good it works um, it's almost full coverage it's not really quite full coverage but it like almost is so this one's really good if you want like almost full coverage but not all the way and the shade that I use is 207 sand beige that's my shade um so I really recommend this one my pinky's always up so I really recommend this foundation too if you want just something like light not too heavy on the face um this one's really good and the next one that I use, like, to beat my face, like, that I use for, like, parties and stuff like that is the Matte Poreless um, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This foundation is, this foundation is really good, guys. I really recommend this foundation. Um, I love this foundation so much. It, it's full coverage. It's full coverage. And it's just a really good foundation, honestly. There hasn't been anything bad with this foundation that I could say. A lot of people really like this foundation. They use this one a lot. But I, was there. I know there's some people who don't. I'm not sure why, honestly. You guys should let me know if you guys have used this foundation. Why you guys don't like it. Because I don't see anything wrong with it. It's honestly a really good foundation. And my shade is 124 Soft Sand. I'm going to be saying like the shades and stuff like that. Because I know you guys do like hearing the shades I am and stuff like that. So 124 Soft Sand. That's my shade in this one. 
So that's pretty much what I use for foundation. So for concealers, I use the Maybelline concealers. These two concealers. Um, I use it. This is the first concealer I've ever gotten, and it's really, really, really light. So I was like, um, I think I'm gonna go for a darker one. So I got this one. They're both like literally gone, almost pretty much. This one's gone, but this one's almost gone. Um, so it's just the Maybelline New York concealer. Um, I don't know the shades. I don't think it says it on here. Okay, this one, this light, light one is 5 Ivory. And this one is 13 Fair, Cl Fair Claire. So this one's the 5 and this one's 15. Um, they work really good. I really like these foundation, I mean, these concealers. So if you guys are looking for concealers, these ones. But the one that I really recommend, like I recommend highly is this one right here and it's the nyx sculpting and highlight um concealer and bronzer thing this is like my go-to like this is perfectly for when you go on the run and you need a bronzer and a concealer this is perfect i use this all the time and literally out like can you guys see that i need to re-up on it but this is so perfect guys like get this like if you guys really want something get this it works so good like honestly i love it it's like my favorite thing it's my favorite thing. It's like a two-on-one. Perfect. What what better deal can you get? Really good. I mean, I used another liquid bronzer. I used this one. Before I found this one, um, I used the Maybelline concealer. And I used this. It's the Master Concealer Bronzer. This bronzer works perfectly fine, too. It works good. It works perfectly good. But I just find this one better because it has both concealer and bronzer on it. But this one is also a drugstore. It's really good. I don't know the prices to them. Um really good both of these I recommend so that's concealer and bronzer well that's liquid bronzer and the bronzer that I love is the butter bronzer I hit pan can you guys see that that's how much I love it the butter bronzer is really good I got the shade 6675 light bronzer that's the shade that I got um I really like this bronzer it works really good and it blends perfectly like it blends so good this so before I started using that bronzer, I started using the Wet n Wild bronzer and the Wet n Wild bronzer and it broke obviously. It was a contour palette and this like the side of the bronzer, it was good. Like if you really liked a bronze face, it was perfectly fine with doing that. It was like really dark on my face, but it was so hard to blend. Like it was really hard to blend this bronzer. Um, I think I'm going to try it just to try it again. But this bronzer was really hard to blend, so um, if you have the patience to like blend, 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 then I suggest this. It was a really good palette. I still use the contour, this part, as like a face powder sometimes. Um, so it's just the Wet n Wild contour palette, contouring palette, contour, that's what it says. And the shade 749A Dulce de Leche. So that's that. And for translucent powder, I use drugstore obviously the airspun loose face powder really good and then the shade is rosy beige um if there's if they're really like if that really is a shade obviously that's what it's called but if there's one that isn't so orangey or whatever because this makes my face orange i don't like that um maybe that's because it is rosy beige i don't like that it makes my face orange so i think i'm gonna have to switch but this but this translucent powder itself is really good it's a really good translucent powder i love the way it makes my face feel but it just makes my face orange so a different shade but definitely recommend this translucent powder i forgot um what i use to blend my foundation and my concealer is obviously a beauty beauty sponge you can any beauty sponge it doesn't matter real techniques beauty sponge any beauty sponge i said it's beauty sponge beauty sponge um anything honestly and then what i use to blend my bronzer is the real technique bronzing brush is this the bronzing brush oh this is actually a blush brush um <laughs> i don't wear blush so um i use this for a bronzer it works really good honestly i'm just like it works really good as a bronzing brush so i use that and then to wipe away my translucent powder i do use this it's what's it for honestly expert face brush i don't know what it i don't know what that's for but I use this to just brush away my translucent powder and stuff like that. Um, these both are really good. They're from Real Techniques. I really like Real Techniques. Um, 
products and their drugstore and they're so amazing so i use both of those um these are really good and then for highlight i'm not even gonna go in order anymore for highlight i use the elf um highlighting thing at first it's honestly really hard to get the highlight off and i know it is because i've tried it but it's a really good highlight once like the top layer is off i don't know why it's like that um this highlight it's really good and um an eyeliner i do use because i do wear eyeliner a lot you guys know that is the wet and wild eyeliner um it's kind of dirty this was my old one so the only one i could find right now um it's my wet and wild eyeliner or the nyx eyeliner i prefer that more than this one the nyx eyeliner is really good um so really bomb eyeliner so get the nyx eyeliner you guys always ask me what eyeliner do i use nyx eyeliner really good so i know going to ask like oh what about your eyebrows or what about your lashes i don't remember my eyelash thing i don't know what it is i forgot i always forget um i don't remember honestly what my eyelashes are i just know the ones that i get i recognize the package and i buy those ones but i don't know which ones um i know i put in like a couple videos i showed them when i did have the package but i don't remember um as of right now what they are so i can't show you guys my lashes and for my eyebrows i use anastasia so that's obviously not a drugstore but if i did have to tell you guys the elf eyebrow pomade is pretty good too it just dries really fast so you have to like put coconut oil and stuff like that in it but it is a really good product um i do i would recommend it so the eyebrow elf eyebrow pomade thing is really good but i think that's it honestly for face on what i wear for my face that's drugstore i mean i don't see anything else in here that oh setting spray duh so for my setting spray, I use the NYX Dewy Finish. NYX Dewy, are they both Dewy Finishes? Yeah, I use the NYX Dewy Finish. It's a really good setting spray and it works perfectly fine. This one's old, this one's new. But they work really good. Um, I recommend these two. So, get it, get it. Honestly guys, stop buying high-end makeup. I mean, yeah, I know high-end makeup is like go to for a lot of people because they have the money for it but honestly drugstore makeup works the exact same that is my list of things that is like a full face for the makeup but drugstore so yeah guys um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys it helped you guys like know what to buy when you're looking for makeup because all that stuff that i recommend it's really good. I use it on my face every day and you guys always ask me, what do you put on your face? Like, what foundation, what concealer, what bronzer, all stuff like that. Um, I do put tutorials of, like, me doing my makeup, like, get ready with me. I'll tell you guys what I'm using. But this is, like, an actual video of me showing you guys, like, all this makeup worth. It's pretty dope. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did give this video a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my videos with my daughter obviously you guys always say this she's not going to be in every video but she's in a lot of my videos so stay tuned and i hope you guys enjoyed bye angels